here with another edition of the 380 Ammo Quest, where I'm trying to find the ideal defensive round for today's micro pistols, like this Taurus TCP, or the Ruger LCP, or the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. They all have barrels that are about 2.8 inches long. They all should perform similarly. I'm trying to find a round that will perform spectacularly from these little micro pistols. And this episode, I'm looking at Rare Ammo's Copper Only Projectiles, C-O-P. Never used this type of ammo before, but I found it at a gun show, and hey, I actually found 380 ammo, so you better believe I'm going to test it. COP, uh, the difference primarily from regular ammo is that the projectiles are entirely made of copper. They are classified as lead-free, and in the marketing they say that they are more environmentally friendly. Which is okay. I don't mind a product being more environmentally friendly than another. Um, if I had to choose between one that will harm the environment and one that won't harm the environment, hey, I'm going to choose the one that doesn't harm the environment. But when it comes to ammo, I want it to harm the bad guy. So we're going to find out how this performs. Uh, a little bit of a concern is that copper is a lighter metal than lead is. So even though the hollow point bullet here is the same size, it's only 80 grains, whereas typically, you know, 380 hollow point is 90 to 95 grains, so it gives me concern that maybe it won't penetrate that far, but we're not here to speculate, we're here to test. So using the clear ballistics gel, TCP, going to the range, we'll find out how these copper only projectiles do. The results of the copper-only projectiles are in. And the good news is you don't see a second block here, so we didn't have a bunch of bullet failure and, and over-penetration like we've had before. The bad news is all the bullets are clustered over here, They're not over here where they need to be. Now, to remind you, what I'm looking for, what, what makes a bullet be considered effective, at least by the FBI handgun performance and wounding evaluation, is a minimum of 12 inches of penetration ideally no more than 18 inches, and expansion. These did not come anywhere near close. Copper only projectiles, uh, copper or stopper, because they stopped way early. I, mean, I got between eight and a quarter and nine and five eighths worth of penetration. Now, one thing they did do, which is kind of interesting, is they all appear to have tumbled towards the end of the round. Very few of them, I think none of them are actually facing forward. I got one that is completely turned around backwards, two that are 90 degrees, one that's angled up a little, and one that's angled up and off to the side, which um, that's nice. I mean, what that means is that the bullet is tumbling at the end of its run, and as it tumbles, it'll rip a bigger hole through whatever target you've shot it at, and that will give you a little bit better wounding, but if it can't at least reach 12 inches, then you can't rely on it that it's gonna be hitting the vital structures of your attacker and disrupting those vital structures. You can see that the copper projectiles all expanded, but they expanded a little bit oddly. Penetration, not so much. The first bullet stopped at eight and a quarter inches. Second one was eight and three eighths. They had one go to nine and an eighth. One went to nine and a quarter. And the furthest one went to nine and five eighths. That gives us a five shot average of just under nine inches and no bullet reached 10 inches at all. All right, now check out these copper-only projectiles. The expanded bullets are kind of wacky. They expand, yeah, but the petals didn't fold over at all. They basically expanded to their maximum width and stayed there. Look at this here. This is an unexpanded hollow point from another round that I tested. And you can see that the copper only projectile is so long that the pedals are actually sticking forward of where the other entire 380 bullet would be. So if this bullet was to tumble and come at you sideways, that'd make a huge wound channel. So I've got no complaint with the expansion on the copper only projectiles. And in fact, it makes me even more interested in COP, in bigger calibers where they have enough power to push these bullets to deep enough penetration. I was not pleased at all with the penetration that we got out of these on the 380, uh, but they do expand. 
They expand big, they expand nicely. So I really wanted to like this ammo, but uh, I just don't think it hit the standards that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a minimum of 12 inches of penetration and we got an average that's not even nine. It's close to nine, but not even nine inches. So I'm gonna, not gonna go any further with this ammo. I'm gonna look at other rounds. We have more episodes of Ammo Quest coming up and soon we will be at the stage of the finals where we don't test in bare gelatin, but we also test in four layers of heavy denim. And once we have those results, we'll be able to call a winner on what is the most effective defensive round for today's micro pistol. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe, and check out the blog for more information.